but the problem actually starts from the hatchery. You say, you say that lameness really starts in the hatchery. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, something that, that for 20 years we have been in doing research. Welcome to Poultry Farm Guide. On today's video, I will share with you how to treat, prevent, and manage leg problem in broiler chicken. I'm also going to share with you the view of an expert in this field who has a research experience in poultry lameness. So stay with me, stay. I'll be right back. My name is Ezra Uncle Samuel from PoultryFarmGuide.com. On this channel, I share helpful tips and guide to enable you to set up your poultry farming business and scale it up. <laughs> Welcome back. As I said earlier, I will share with you how to treat, prevent, and manage leg problem in broiler chicken. It is a complicated issue in broiler chicken or in chicken in general because it is a multi factorial condition that can be caused by many factors. So you have to understand each of these factors and actually know how to treat individually. Now, leg problem or lameness is a type of paralysis. Lameness is the inability to walk due to pain of the foot or the feet of the chicken. So what are the possible causes? There are so many of them, but we are going to narrow these things down. Now the first one we have so when we talk about lameness in chicken or in broiler chicken, we talk about overweight. So many people think that, oh, since broiler is fast growing, the weight is an issue. So it normally causes problems. But we are getting it wrong. Most of us are getting it wrong, not always overweight. The next one is nutrition. Oh, it might, when it comes, when people think, oh, it's lacking calcium. It cannot be always be uh, nutrition or lack of vitamin or mineral. We also have disease. In case of Marek or Nicastro, when the neck is bent, that's for the neck, then the Marek have an stretched leg. Diseases, bacteria can also cause lameness in broiler chicken. When we move down again, we have the little quality that can cause bumble foot, uh, podo dermatitis, due to lack of when you have some lesions, some marks, injury in the foot part of the chicken. That can also cause lameness in chicken. Then move down again, we also have the developmental etiology that can cause, that can result from hatchery, whereby on the first week your chicks are already having you know, deformities and all that. It can also arise from your hatchery and the, the embry embryo development of the chicks and all that. Then when we move down again, we have injury and toxic substances. This can also cause lameness in chicken. Now how can you examine, how can you identify the particular cause? We use normally two measures. The first one, you use the age of the bed. Some disease, as we all know, manifests at a particular time in the chick's life. For instance, for Marek disease, it can be caused between two weeks and three weeks. Then it can be manifested between 20, week 20 and week 24. Above week 24, Marek disease cannot manifest Again, you cannot say such lameness is caused by Marek disease. Then when it comes to examining the bed, you can use examination of the beds by knowing the recumbent, recumbent of the chicken. That recumbent means how the chicken is lying down on its leg. For instance, in Marek disease, the chicken lies on one side of the body and with an outstretched leg. Then you can also find such posture with uh, aspergillosis fabus, but uh, quite tall, overweight, and um, bamboo foot, the chicken will rest on their hocks, unlike the Marek disease, where the chicken rests on one side and with an stress leg. There are all other uh, symptoms you can use to actually identify these uh, particular conditions. So I've done research of these diseases. I'll leave a table in the screen where you can actually know what, when it comes to nutrition, what vitamin or mineral the bed is lacking, condition, signs, symptoms, how to manage it if it is not curable, etc. Then when it comes to diseases, signs, symptoms, for want of time, I'm going to leave the table on the screen or you go to my description, you'll see a link to my site where all these things were explained very well for you to understand and comprehend easily. Now, let us move to the view. What, what are experts saying about leg problem 
in broiler chicken or in chicken in general. I'll make reference to my friend, my mentor. I'll be following him. It's the doctor, Dr. Obiedo, Edgar Obiedo, Dr. Edgar Obiedo. He has 20 years research experience in poultry lameness. So he was asked in one of his interview what he thinks about leg problem in broiler chicken. And he said that as usually people think that leg problem is caused by overweight diseases, poor litter, quality, etc. But the problem actually starts from the hatchery. You say, you say that lameness really starts in the hatchery. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, something that, that for 20 years we have been uh, doing research is that um, many times the problems are observed when the birds are growing fast and when they are heavier. Um, but uh, mm, what normally is um, not well observed is that those problems started way, way earlier during the first days of life. The only thing is that since the birds are so small, people cannot detect those differences that just become bigger as the birds grow. Then, if I said that, that reducing the temperature of the chicken in the last phase of incubation will help to boost the immunity of the chicken, also have better bone development and tissue development. All this will help to in preventing other factors that can cause leg problem in chicken. Um, what can be done in the hatchery and I guess maybe even further up the line, what can be done to prevent those problems? Yeah, one of the things that we have seen and actually have helped many companies is just something as basic as reduce the uh, incubation temperatures during the last phase of uh, incubation and the, in the hatcher. Then it was when I asked, is overweight a primary cause? Overweight is a primary No. He also said, no, overweight, that if this thing is done, reducing temperature, as at the last phase of incubation, we also help the bed better boost the strength of the leg better, irrespective of the final weight of the chicken. So you see, this one thing, this reduction of temperature can actually help in different way to prevent leg problem in chicken. And it was further asked, how could nutrition be a primary cause of leg problem? He also said, nutrition can, can be, but not a primary factor. He believed that it cannot be nutrition if less than 1% to 0.5% is having the condition. Whereas all the birds, we are given the same diet. So it has a slim chance that it could be nutritional factor. And he also acknowledged that litter quality can also cause leg problem and the, the uh, infectious bacteria can also cause leg problem in bones of the chicken if the finally translocate to the tissue, bone to tissue of the chicken. But overall, if this temperature is being reduced, most of this problem will be eliminated. However, he said that a leg problem is a complex issue that requires detailed and close observation and even common sense to actually know the problem and give the right solution to the problem or condition. Overall, I will just say in, su in summary, you have to pay close attention. Of course, get your quality chicks from a quality hashing. Then you have to observe the bed to know, examine, to know what kind of condition is the bed suffering from, what kind of lameness is the bed suffering from. Not when one bed is suffering from lameness, Oh, you think it is calcium. My bed is lacking calcium. It cannot always be calcium and calcium. No, there are other things that can cause lameness in chicken. You know whether it is nutrition factor, you know whether it is a developmental or hatchery factor, you know whether it is infectious or disease factor, or you know whether it is overweight factor, so that you can know the appropriate step to actually take. Know when you should invite or take your bed to an expert or an expert for proper medication and treatment. So, as I said earlier, the table for treatment and diagnosis table, I will leave it on the screen. Then you can also go to my to the description below for more details in this topic where it is where analyzed. So, 
If this is your first time of visiting my channel, please endeavor to subscribe, like the video, and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I release my next video. Always make your bed happy because happy bed make a happy farmer. Sam is out. Bye bye.